Hello everyone, welcome to this video capsule commemorating Novale's 25th anniversary. In 1995, it took a lot of audacity, as well as a strong vision, on the part of Novales founders to bring their reproduction and processing companies together under the umbrella of a single research company. Novale was created at difficult times when market shares were declining. There was a pressing need to develop knowledge and expertise to stimulate innovation, both on farms and in plants. For most cheese makers, Novale is the only gateway to research. Even companies that lead R&D research turn to Novale to share the costs and risk of certain research. One of these companies summarized Novale's positioning well. It's research that you can't pay for on your own. I started at the end of the 90s. I directed a food co-op here in Thetford Mines, where I was president for two years. At the end of that mandate, I wanted to work at a larger organization. So I applied for a senior management position at Agropur. Since February 2001, I've been a director at Agropur and I was delegated, but also decided for myself, to serve on Novale's board of directors. Since 2012, I have served as the director at Novale. And as of just recently, I have the honor of serving as president of this great organization for the next two years. I sincerely believe that an organization like Novale, where you have dairy farmers, processors, and a cooperative that all have equal power within the same organization, is where solutions are found. It's already been 25 years and I still see a bright future ahead of us. 25 is still young and we still have a lot to prove. Novale is a nice little organization with a big reputation. It's a win-win. The organizations within Novale, all those people collaborate to find solutions for the future and we're going to find them together. It's simple. Novale is a small organization, but it's here for you. You have everything to gain by getting to know this small organization that produces big results. Honestly, it's an industry that you know, in 2020, in the midst of a pandemic, people are realizing that consuming close to home, eating local, is very, very important. So if we can find solutions so that we can produce more economically, in a way that's more environmentally responsible too, I know that in terms of production, animal well-being and comfort, we're right in the thick of it. And I think we have to make sure that we continue to have a good image and continue to market and produce healthy and clean food. It's the key to the future, and we have to keep going and pull our efforts to find the best solutions for the future. We do a survey of dairy farmers and processors to identify research priorities. Currently at Novale, we have seven research priorities. We try to establish a balance. So there are three research priorities that are for the production sector and three for processing. Then there is one that is a joint priority, and that's milk quality. When we talk about milk quality, it concerns both dairy farmers and processors. Those are our research priorities. But before we decide to go with this or that researcher or university, there is a relevance committee that judges the merits of each project. The committee is made up of five or six people that assess and rate the projects. We go with the projects that will have the greatest impact and choose the best ones. Choosing the right projects is essential to ensuring the transfer of results and knowledge. Then, we have to do our due diligence. To do so, Novale has established a knowledge transfer model unlike any other. As soon as projects start up, researchers are in continuous communication with processors to give them the best guidance possible. The production and processing steering committees are privileged forums for exchanges between processors, partners and research team to maximize the spin-off potential of each project. During these meetings, we focus on applying the results and strategies for making them known. Novale also collaborates with partners such as Lactanet, 
the Quebec Cheese Expertise Center, and different local organizations that support knowledge transfer and innovation to disseminate the results and promote the application of the results by companies. If we are able to do it, and do it well, people get tangible results from research and apply them, whether they are a dairy farmer or processor. And if those results work, without a doubt, that leads to other projects and it's like a wheel. If we add water to the wheel, it will turn faster. So yes, it's very important. Among Novale's impacts, companies have identified the proximity of world-class researchers who they have forged links with over the course of the project. When the companies contact the researchers, they get answers right away. Novale is also active in this network of researchers through its investments in shares that have created 11 professorships in strategic areas for the dairy industry. To date, Novale has invested $50 million in joint funding, both from public or private funds. And for this we are grateful. I would like to take a moment to first thank the people who had the foresight to create Novale. If those people hadn't sat down and come together, we wouldn't be here talking today. I would like to express my thanks to those founders who thought to create this little organization that has such a big reach. So thank you to them, to Novale's team and directors, and to all of the organizations that support Novale. I would also like to encourage the people who invest in Novale to continue to do so. It is very important, and they can do it on a larger scale. I am certain that those funds will not be wasted. You can see that we've had great results in the past, and we will continue to do so. We sincerely thank those people, and we ask that you continue to help us. But also, none of this would be possible without our researchers. We have an excellent network of researchers, and we must continue to attract only the best at Novali. Thank you to everyone, happy 25th, and we look forward to seeing you again at the 50th anniversary.